you know, you need a couple of things for an effective trade. So you need to see the setup, see the risk, but you also need to see a conducive environment. So sometimes you'll see a double bottom and it'll just run. And then sometimes you'll see the same pattern and it'll just sit there and go nowhere. So it's not that the methodology is wrong. It's just environments change. You know, markets go through phases. And uh, right now, let me just, uh, you know, we've looked at the market day after day and we just see this, uh, you know, giant uh, chop. I mean, certainly at the index level, uh, there's certain, you know, there's many other stocks that are working their own magic in another way. But, you know, we've been watching this kind of chop at the top, you know, uh, last two, three, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, very, very range bound. Right. So this is kind of what we're seeing. I mean, there are certain stocks that break out one way or another. Upstart broke out one way. Tesla broke out, broke down. So there's not that there's not opportunities. It's just by and large a very whippy environment. Uh, you know, Jonathan, you're saying yesterday about Okta. I'm watching this thing it was down six bucks. And then by the end of the day, you know, it closes on the high. I mean, I think this thing thing's still going down, but it's uh, an environment where it's three steps forward, two and a half back. You know, you can see now that the indexes have gone into a pretty benign phase, right? So now it's become very much of a stock picker's environment. You can't just, you know, like when all the indexes were going north, you know, rising tide raises all ships. You just, you know, close your eyes, buy something and it goes up. Now you have to understand what you're doing. There's lots of rotation. Uh, one moment, you know, certain stocks will be in vogue tomorrow, you know, the oil stocks will be, then it'll be the cyclicals and then it'll be growth. And it's like changing your underwear. It changes every day. Um, and so, yeah, you've just got to focus where you see, you know, a risk reward, trust the pattern. I think zoom is going down, but it's not to say that, you know, zoom can't bounce back, you know, into the 355 again and just hover here. So, uh, you know, it could do on the left side, you know, uh, do something on the right side here before it kind of goes, it could break down today and then re, you know, break out of that neckline, then come and retest it. So trade less is really, I know that's not a sexy thing to say, but um, trade less, trade more carefully, trade more surgically. I was talking about this yesterday, just these obscure, unsexy consumer cyclicals now are starting to you know, run Procter and Gamble. Um, Clorox, I think, is very weak, um, but starting to, you know, look like it's maybe trying to gather, gather a bottom down here. So this is Bristol Myers. And I mean, it's just this thing, you know, it's got a double bottom, triple bottom down here. It's got an ascending, you know, trend line. It's, you know, making new highs and, you know, it's like by strength. So look at this. This thing's about to break out. This looks like Pfizer. You know, uh, you're about to break out of all time. You know, you've, you've just had this long basing, this whole shoulder here. So, you know, very unsexy stocks. You know, typically, you know, we like to talk about, you know, CrowdStrike and all the growth stocks. But I think this is where you can see just building the shoulder kind of had this triple bottom here. You know, it's just he built this huge base. And it looks like now we're ready to kind of levitate into the next level. So Pfizer recently took off out of this thing. Uh, this is Bristol Myers BMY. Now these are more kind of long-term things. You know, usually we you know can punch it out and find ten dollar moves and snowflake and what have you. This is you can see you know three dollars forward, two dollars backwards. This is kind of a but you know Pfizer just broke out from thirty eight to fifty. So all of a sudden, these stocks that look unsexy put on these 20% moves. So now the environment is slowly changing. You know, we've got a lot of rotation. People are trying to figure out where's the next leadership. Maybe the next leadership comes from these drug companies or these consumer cyclical companies or what have you. You know, we've been so enamored and used to the growth story that, you know, there's other things now, you know, that are happening under the hood. People are getting rid of the Teslas. They're going into the Bristol Myers and the Pfizer's. Um, so money is always looking for a home. You know, at one percent interest rates, money is not going to go. You know, so look at Pfizer. You know, broke out like Bristol Myers. You know, and then it just you know it just keeps going. You know, saying at forty, this thing was breaking out. Now it's you know 
25% higher just that quickly. You can see, yeah, 45, it's 1.3 million. 1.3 million dollars short. So pop out a profit for 118,000 there. So you can see how this is going crazy now. You can see how the market just going nuts. I bet like a, a million six on this position. I'm showing right now $23,000 gain.